I got it out for you, 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 just a few to bruise. Do them so bad when dude get chewed, his crew won't view the two. But I'm saying fools, if you ain't choose to lose, use your cue to move. I fucked the nice niggas up. Fuck, you think I was gonna do to you? Actually, man, I know y'all had T-Top in the drive. I fuck with T-Top, man. He actually kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout out to T. I know he battles a lot on Spit That Heat and, and stuff like that, but yeah. I saw him on the draft, so I. No. Now we actually got some. We got something in the making right there for T. Top. What it what, what it was all about? We had to make it make sense as far as name wise. You know what I'm saying? And it's starting to make sense now. But you know he had to come. He had to continue to get his money, continue to build his craft at that same time. But you already know he won. He the first draft champion. Yeah, Shout I, out I, to think, I think I think he got on yeah, with the eight against like John John. So he getting yeah, big, he getting bigger. Yeah, that's names. what I'm saying. But you know we gonna give him a nice. We gonna give him a nice. He already know. Shout out to him. And like now we got a second winner, ABU. You feel me? So you know we actually building. We gonna keep the shit. We gonna keep the dice rolling. You know how how that go. But we got something in store for T Top. He be knowing the shit. Holla at me, bro. Oh, that's cool, man. I'm about to be checking in, man. Back with another review. Automatic Ray vs. T-Top dropped on Spit That Heat. Shout out to Milltown Blow. Shout out to Spit That Heat. Uh, April 20th, man. If you are in the Atlanta area, man, come down and support, man. They got John John and Don on the card. Uh, Danger Zone. Daylight will be down here. T-Top is on the card. Automatic Ray. Crazy, man. I'm hoping I can make it myself because, you know, a nigga might have to work and shit. So, definitely trying to make that event myself. But um, as far as this battle, man, Automatic Ray had a pretty good first round you know what i'm saying i like his parquet line i like his double dipping line um i like his uh the way he ended about you getting killed by a fatter nigga he had a nice first round even though he stumbled and it was a stumble not a choke but he still had a nice first round t-top first round man he had a good first round too i like the record producer scheme he did i like the scheme he did about you know going in his grandma's house crazy i think the stumble kind of made their round a little bit closer but even with the stumble, this round was debatable to me. I really edged the round to uh, T-Top, but I ain't mad if you gave the first round to Automatic Ray. I felt like this was the closest round between the two. As far as the second round, Automatic Ray's second round wasn't as good as his first. He had a few fat jokes. Uh, he had talking about his voice sounds like um, in between the UW battles or something like that. I felt like this round was kind of light by him compared to this first round. T-Top second round, he's basically explaining the difference between him and Automatic Ray, telling him that he is Biggie Smalls and he's Heavy D uh, about going to jail and all that shit. I liked the second round, man. I definitely gave the second round to T-Top. And as far as round three, I didn't like Automatic Ray's Lux angle. He kind of came with the Lux angle and also was talking about what you know about this, what you know about that. I really didn't feel like that, that really went over well. And I saw DNA do the same thing when he battled um, Young Cannon at the Crown event. I think a lot of people are going that Lux route. I see that in a few battles. So I really wasn't feeling that as much, and I don't think it went over well. As far as t Tops round three, that shit was crazy. I think that was his best round of this battle. So I said, in my hood, it's respecting money. See, those are the main things. I knew nothing but real niggas. Until these lanes came, they was playing basketball Until they weight changed and I was moving baskets, balls Trying to weight gain, so make fly Save all them bars by how your chain swing I tie y'all all up by y'all neck, unless y'all the chain gang If that's the case and you in my face, then we can bang bang The hell with Denzel, you crashing into the same plane Your best man stiff in a coma, he do his Wayne thing He wake up, I lean him again, he feel the same pain You know coma, Wayne, couple lean, same pain You be sleep, you get smacked white, like the main stage this Wordplay from a real nigga. Get your frame framed. Your man like to play with his words. It ain't the same thing. Cause one small slip of the tongue can make the game change. And Ray gets straight dropped in a pot. It's like I cane slang. No Ray gets straight dropped. No pots. He need a cane slang. Neck brace to hold the dead weight of his main game. You chain the smut. You chain the smut. Well, I got noose. She a lame, man. You gave her a whip before the neck like the slave trade. <laughs> and them hoes be having you wide open. See, I don't need a bitch. My eyes got wide the first time I ever seen a brick. Uh -huh. I would do whatever to get it. It's like I need a hit. So I started flexing on niggas. You should have seen the kid. You want to ounce aloud? Hitting you with the greenest mid. Cutting the coke with isotol, but it's clean as shit. My smart ass. I even learned how to stretch a needle head. Uh -huh. Bitch, I was stepping on water like Jesus did. <laughs> I got the battle, man, 3-0 T-Top, to be real with you. I mean, you might give Automatic Ray the first round, so it's at least 2-1. But unless you just don't like the shit T-Top spit about, because the only knock I got on T-Top is that he kind of talks about the same subject matter in every battle. So it's like, 
You know how like niggas always talk about they tired of T-Rex and the gun bars? Like, you might be tired of the shit T-Top talk about if you watch a lot of his battles and you want him to expand. Automatic Ray's vocabulary got a little bit more variety in it, so he kind of touch on more subjects than T-Top do. But as far as that street shit, T-Top is right up there with Rosenberg Raw and Shotgun Shug as niggas that talk that shit and actually they sell their bars over well. So I got T-Top 3-0, man. And as far as the whole spit that heat landscape, he might be that nigga right now. You know what I'm saying? You got CT Milwaukee, TGO, Cannon, um, A-Town City, Automatic Ray. You got a lot of nice dudes, but I really think T-Top is probably like the nicest. You know, it was kind of interesting when I went to this battle, all the North Carolina dudes was really making noise, you know what I'm saying, and battling the other, the other people. So T-Top and Briz might be my two favorite dudes on Spit That Heat to watch. So um, shout out to Smilltown Blow, shout out to Automatic Ray. Um, it's just criticism, Automatic Ray, you know what I'm saying? I know I fuck with you heavy. I do feel like you lost to Cortez too, so your GE Black Dollar battle is about to drop, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? You did your thing in that battle, but um, this was a good battle, man. I just was feeling what T-Top was saying more. So shout out to both of y'all. Um, I'm by for you. Thanks for the support. Yeah.